I'm talking to talk about words and how words have become my passion. They've always been my passion. But how and what I do with words. Now, these there are things that you can pick up, you know, and by the end of this talk, what I really want to do is that I want you to take back and understand the true power and potential of black and white words and what they can do. So in keeping with this with, with the theme of this, uh, you would no, you would see no pictures, just words, nothing else, black and white. So essentially, I'm a copywriter. Um, I uh, that's my craft, that's my skill, that's what I bring to the table. Of course, I've had many many designations from associate creative director, creative director, national creative director, regional creative director, chief creative officer, name it. But this is what I do. And what do I do? I I do print ads. I do <coughs> films, I do radio jingles, I do sports, I do outdoor ads, I do uh, po social posts today, I do blogs, all kinds of things, Ex experiential advertising, I do activation, all kinds of things. Wherever you can think of ideas, write them down and get them generated and push them. That's what I do. But that's what happens. I live in a prison. I live in a prison because I am bound by brand guidelines, by brand language, by brand personalities. I cannot do anything which is beyond what a brand is. So I have to be within the brand. Of course, so I am multiple personalities. I'm, I'm a paid schizophrenic, you know. I, I am into several brands at, at, at any given point. I move from one brand to the other effortlessly. It is for successful. It is successful, it is satisfying, gives you a great night's sleep. But it is a prison. It does not allow me or my words to fly. So I have discovered on, I stumbled onto something called board poetry. I don't know, I think some of you guys follow this on Facebook. It is something which I do every day. For me, that is daily escape. It is daily escape from the rigmarole of advertising, of life, of everything. And that's what I do. <coughs> Words are my tools. These are the tools that I use for my escape. I don't have to dig tunnels under the prison wall. I just fly out and I use words. They're my birds. They're my wings. That's what I do. <coughs> they are also, words are also my crayons, they're my color pencils, they're my paint boxes, they're my brushes. I use words, I draw words, you know, I, I write colors, that's what I do. I also use words as my cameras. I have multiple cameras. I take them out, I shoot emotions, I shoot fear, I shoot dreams, I shoot conversation, I, I shoot moments, I shoot love, I shoot heartbreak. I use words to shoot all that and bring it to the table. Words are also my, my bricks. I build argument. I build bridges. I build bridge pal I'm not an architect. I have no idea about science. I have no idea about architectural engineering or construction, nothing. But with words, I can build the grandest of palaces, the mightiest of buildings. I can, I can build, rebuild the Great Wall of China all over again. That's what I can do with words. Words are also weapons. They are my AK-47s, M-16s, Hawk jets, Bell helicopters, ICBMs, nuclear bombs. You say it. I use this to fight mediocrity. Mediocrity is a beast that comes out of your chest and attacks you. It's very easy to sit back and say, okay, this is it, this is the best I can do. But no. In my case, I use words to fight that. And I fight that on a daily basis. <coughs> words are also footprints for me. They allow me to walk to new places. They allow me to be original, discover new places which I haven't seen, explore new feelings, new emotions, 
new images. I construct all these things with it. And guess what? And this also remains for, for life. Even after you're gone, your words remain. So to me, these are footprints that I want to keep creating. And I want to create fresh footprints. I don't want to follow anyone. I want to create my own stuff. Okay? So words for me take me beyond, which is in line with our, 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 our event. And for me, they, the way I use words, I take it beyond normal construct. I do not use the ordinary way of writing. I use my own style of writing. Okay, I combine words. I, I rearrange words. That's what I do. It, it takes me beyond everything. My job, my salary, my standing, the fact that I'm a husband or a father, doesn't matter. For me, words take me everywhere. It allows me to create my own world. It's a private world that I own. And in my world, I can create everything that I want. How many writers are here? Okay. Not just you guys. Everybody is a writer. All of us use excuses, right? Those are inventive reasons for us to create words to work for us. Use them. And use some of these tricks that you see. It will come in handy. Okay, so for me, I use words to create my world. And my world is, is brilliant. It's a world only I can see. It belongs to me. It, it's, it's in my head. I'm a constant daily resident. I come in and out every day. But I create, I create this world. And to me, words are greater than pictures. They are truly greater than pictures. And why do I say that? Because to me, pictures are limiting. A picture is a fixed format. You see, you want to see a sunset, you see a sunset. That's what you see. That is, that is what it is. There is nothing more. There is no deeper layer. Nothing. Of course, you can interpret it differently if you want. But it cannot... It, words, pictures cannot tell you what's currently cooking in my head. You cannot. Or in yours. Or in anybody's. You cannot see beyond the physical self. That's the limit of pictures. And I'm going to use that, 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 that cliche, which a lot of people said, which is, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I think it's a bloody cliche. Okay? And I'll tell you why, and I'll prove it to you why. How pictures are limiting. And I want you to try this. And I'm going to read something out. And at this moment, I can see a lethargic dragon loaded with heaviness of an unsure and unseen future, lazing under the starlight of a very dark, humid night with three and a half ganja-smoking beetles singing loudly in his stomach, drinking up a long glass of wicked cold coffee with a straw that thinks too much of itself, chasing dreams that get smothered in half by French-speaking nitrogen bubbles, every time his pretty dragon girlfriend burps in her disturbed sleep. Now, now that's what words can do. Now, what Picasso or which Dali can paint that for me? Cannot. So words will have to do for now. And that's the power of words. Okay? Words to me are my freedom from the daily shore, from the daily page, from the daily blank page, everything. Right? From my job, everything. Words are my freedom. These are my wings. I can be anywhere. At this moment, I can be on top of a mountain. Okay? I can be in Antarctica. I can, I can be in Australia. I can be wherever I want to be. I can be anything. I can be a table with a furry tail wagging. Okay, I can be <coughs> I can be a goose flying over Antarctica. I can be a whale stranded on the beach in Bandra or wherever. I can be anything. I can be anyone. I can be Mahatma Gandhi. I can be Martin Luther King. I can be Pele. I can be Maradona. Right? And I'm supposed to look like Saddam Hussein anyway. Right? So I can be, I can be anyone. Words can make me create, or cre I can create myself to be anything. I can also be Columbus in his Santa Maria in the Atlantic Ocean looking for India when he's actually sailing to America. I can do that. I can be Messi, and I'll mess with him now. He's playing hockey in Patiala. 
right? I can do that. Or he is wrestling in Jalandhar. Now, see the power of words. I can be a cheetah, minus the belly. Inside a flute, either steel or wood, doesn't matter. Watching crabs ski down the Alps and romance fish with fins and claws. I can do that. I can be clever or smart and a quarter. I don't know what that means, but it makes sense. And I can be an old table, like I said earlier, wagging its furry tail. I can ignore physics completely. I was bad at it anyway, but now I have the liberty and the freedom to ignore it completely and do whatever I want. I can theorize new geometry. I can, I can create new shapes and give it fancy names. I can dilute gravity with lemonade or marmalade or orange juice or mutton curry or whiskey or gin or vodka, anything. I can borrow Poland, I can borrow Russia, I can borrow Pakistan and give it back. I can do anything I want. I can import Barcelona, New York, London, Paris, Dubai. I can import anything I want. I, I can import the entire world if I want. I can steal a ring from Saturn and maybe give it to Jupiter because it doesn't have one. I can kick a skyscraper's backside and then apologize most profusely. I can fry bombs sunny side up. I can scramble them and have it to toast and chai. I can do that. I can be friend, buddy, wife or pet cockroach to a nasty potato or a brinjal or a cucumber or anything. I can play chess with serious verbs and grim vertebrae. I can discuss politics with a very talkative sunflower or jasmine or a mango or a jackfruit. I can have 18 eyebrows and 7 horns, 25 legs, 35 hands, 10 heads. How does it matter? I can be 18 tomorrow, 52 today, which is what I am, or 10 the day after. I can go to 700 BC, 700 AD, anything, in whichever sphere I want, whatever time it, it is. I can stop wars, I can arrest revolutions, I can tell them to love each other, I can do what I want, I can bring peace to the earth, I can eat cannibals, okay, and I can pickle them as well and send a few back to them. I can drink cyanide and tell you what the taste is because nobody really knows. And then, I can also marry a goat, not Pashmina. <laughs> okay, and have, and walk down the aisle, and walk into the Guinness Book of World Records, and have some kids, if you get the pun. <clears throat> so for me, words allow you to go wherever you want to go. It allows you to do whatever you want to do, allows you to be whomever you want to be. You can get X into infinity. That's the power of words. Just black and white, squiggly little things on your screen, nothing else. And the good thing is, you don't need anything else. Just need a piece of paper and a pencil and take your mind along, go sit somewhere by the pond, throw some stones if you want, and you can fly. And there's only one rule that I apply and which you also should apply is this. Everything is interesting. Everything in the world, even boredom is interesting. Everything is interesting and nothing is boring. You approach life from this perspective, you will have enormous sense of happiness and satisfaction and you will be passionate about what you do forever. So, ladies and gentlemen, write and live forever. That's it. And that's my email. Yeah. Thank you.